Alright guys, welcome back to another video of KingX.X. I'm to you guys with a brand new video and today in this video, the brand new 1.29 patch update is supposed to be coming out in the next couple hours. It releases at 11pm Pacific time and it comes out at 2am Eastern time so be on the lookout for that. But I am making this video a little earlier because we actually do have the official patch notes and for Warzone... It says we're excited to launch a beta version of Private Match Warzone. This requires various player counts to start the match and we have three modes available. Battle Royale, 50 players required to start. Also had a squad variation. There is Plunder, 30 players are required to start. And Mini Battle Royale which has 24 players. Please share if there's any bugs so when you guys get on to the game when it's downloaded. If you guys were on the PlayStation you were able to pre-download this which was actually really cool. But let's go ahead and get into the general fixes, which fix for a bug where when reviving a fallen teammate as the round ends in survival, users can become stuck in third person. Fix an issue where some players were seeking error code. Fix for the gas operator challenge when players are unable to complete the first objective in the season 4 gas operator bundle mission. Win three gunfights as gas. Fix for an issue where officer challenges 90 to 100 have been resetting after completion, preventing players from getting the last season 6 emblem, and the safe house finale of SP at the killstreak chopper checkpoint when using the zoom button on the camera was we'll zooming it out. Fix a bug where a player could have the spotter scope effect when not ADSing by picking up two weapons while looking with the scope. Fix a bug where helicopters could spin and float in the air after progressing in survival. Fix it to help prevent players from going AFK in gunfight. LMG sniper rifles, marksman rifles will now rotate as intended in gunfight. So always cool to see some gunfight changes. Fix for an issue where players that die right before an HQ is disabled and watch the full kill cam do not spawn as intended. And if we go down to the war zone changes, fix to help fight against weapon corruption while in spectator mode. The gas from the gas grenade can sometimes obscure or completely hide players from thermal scopes. Fix an exploit near the Lazov Pass metro station. Armor Royale fixed a bug where dropping a truck redeployment flare into the service entrance of the subway can cause the truck to parachute underground. While in plunder, players can parachute will now auto deploy to help prevent against exploit. Fix for an exploit with the durable gas mask. Fix an audio bug where no overheat audio was playing when using the minigun on the chopper. When the player is using bumper ping as their button layout, the player will be unable to switch between the gas grenade and EMP blast resulting in them only being able to use a gas grenade. This has been fixed. When sitting in the passenger seat of a helicopter and using the minigun, priming a lethal while simultaneously switching seats will break the player's view model. This has been fixed. Fix for a bug where players are unable to equip the war tracks after selecting random. And it also removed juggernauts from the bunker puzzles, which of course that is kind of just something random that's kind of been in. But that is all of the patch notes. Nothing too crazy. I assume that there probably will be changes and maybe even possibly new content maybe when the update fully drops. I really think this update was probably made for the changes that will be happening to Modern Warfare because this is a big update. And if you guys are worried about file size, there's actually some good news on that as well. Because this update, yes, it is 33 gigabytes to pre-download on the PlayStation 4. But the funny part about this is that on all consoles, over 25 gigabytes or more will be freed, which is actually really cool to see because the file sizes on this console or the file sizes on this game were absolutely ridiculous. I mean, literally this game has probably taken over like 200 gigabytes of space. So it is nice that we are getting some free gigabytes of space back, which is awesome. But with that being said, guys, what is your thoughts and opinions on this 1.29 patch update? There wasn't really anything really crazy when it came to weapon changes, sadly. But knowing Infinity War, there might actually be a couple hidden changes that we don't know about. And people are just going to have to go in, actually. Kind of just test out the game. But with that being said, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, put on post notifications so you guys don't miss another video. Have a good rest of your day. I'm out. Peace. King, give me the throne, I need a queen, she better than most I need a palace, I need a horse If you want gold, then I am the source I need a crown, I need a sword I got my team, we going to war you